man, sometimes when I'm drawing, I'm like, oh my God, like eh, something's not right here. And I know what it is, but I, I don't know what it is. But then I'm like, oh yeah, it's not balanced. So balanced design is something I've been talking about for a while. And I always tell you guys that you gotta have something that's kind of legitly straight for it to be a good design. But that's just kind of like what I like to see. That's my personal preference. But you guys know what a balanced design is. And if you guys haven't seen an unbalanced design, basically, if you can't really identify a shape or it's kind of like big on one side and small on the other, then you're looking at something that's unbalanced. And that kind of throws people off. That actually kind of turns people off. Because people are so used to seeing up and down and left and right and squares and circles and stuff like that. They can identify with that a whole lot better than having like a circle with a diamond coming out of it. Or or like a straight line with something sticking out of it going towards the right, you know. And it just kind of looks foreign to them. It looks a little awkward. So when you create these kind of like borders and stuff like that, you want to think more about like what's balanced. And in many cases, people like to say they want to be different and stuff like that. And they want a, a different design design but in all honesty if it's gonna work out with your audience then do it but if it's not then you want to stay at least balanced as possible now rules are meant to be broken like you're not supposed to just be living by the rule book all the time but these rules here has been identified as facts which is going to actually help you when it comes to actually targeting your audience and stuff like that because if they want a balanced design give them a balanced design if they don't like balance they don't like that stuff then give them an unbalanced design but these rules right here actually help get that audience engaged. So, so that's what I wanna work with you guys on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn into Illustrator and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw out a very balanced design. So here we are in Illustrator and basically what I wanna do is just go ahead and turn on my grid. So if you hold down command and you hit like the quotation mark or the comma, you get this grid right here and this is pretty much good. So it's almost like graphing paper and that looks pretty good, right? Now to actually get that balancing that we want, we wanna go ahead and hit Command R to turn on the rulers. And these rulers are basically just like regular rulers, all right? So if you wanted to get like maybe that, that width and length of like two and eight or something like that, or maybe let's just say like five by seven, okay? You would just bring over the ruler from the left over to like five and then you would lay that down like that. If you want that seven, you just bring up the ruler from the top down to the seven, and that's what you get. So this would be a five by seven. That would be like your normal like handout flyer and stuff like that. What we are going to do is just drag out a ruler from the left side and smack this right down into the seven, which would be half of 14. And at the top, we just want to go ahead and drag out a ruler just pretty much on one and then another one at the bottom right here at 16. And these are just pretty much creating a header and a footer for our document because we don't want to be all up in the space of this right here and all up in the space of this right here, making designs that go straight to the edge of the page just in case we want to print this out and show it to somebody as far as like our marketing department and stuff like that. This is a good way to have some clear space, all right? So now we can just go ahead and draw out some rulers again and this can be for like our borders, our margins and stuff like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and bring this one over to two and then we're gonna bring the other one over to 12. Okay, good, so now that we got that, all we gotta do now is just pretty much start our design and that's pretty simple, right? So let's get into this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna lock down this layer. As a matter of fact, before we do that, we're just gonna name this guys. Now I'm gonna create another layer real quick and in this layer, I just wanna start my actual design. So in the last T-shirt Tuesday, I showed you guys how to make shapes with the Shape Builder tool, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same thing. I wanna draw out a square real quick that comes from the top of this, like maybe right here at two, to 12 and I want this one to come down and I want this to be as even as possible so 12 on both sides two on both sides it's just gonna make a straight square all right now at the top of this I want to do this again except I want this to go from 4 to 10 to 13 at the bottom so we can have like something that looks a little bit like this so now that we have this much what I want to do is just arc this around like a circle so I'm just gonna go ahead and put an ellipse tool maybe like right here and just kind of bring it over to the 12 and just bring this one down to where these sides meet in the middle i'm gonna take the square and i'm gonna go to the pen tool real quick i'm gonna hold down the pen tool and i'm gonna add the anchor point so i'm gonna go to the one up under it and on this one i'm just gonna go ahead and click where it says intersect right here at the bottom i'm just gonna put a point there now i'm gonna use the direct selection tool and just bring this path down now with the shape builder tool, just like last week, I'm just gonna go ahead and hold down, alter option, and just delete out everything that I don't need. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna hit Command C, and then on a new layer, I'm gonna hit Command F, and we get something a little bit like this. So I'm gonna take the one that we just made, 
and we're gonna go ahead and scale it in now this looks pretty good but there's some stroke width issues real quick so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the outside one and i'm gonna add a stroke to it and then with the one on the inside i also want to add a stroke to it and so now we got something a little bit like this and this is looking really sick so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna lock down both of these layers and i'm gonna bring up a new layer real quick and on this i'm gonna use the ellipse tool again so i just want to go ahead and draw out something a little bit like this now i'm gonna take the type tool and i'm gonna hold it down and i'm gonna go to type on path and then with this i'll be able to type on the path of this and that looks good right there so i can still kind of like bring this down just a little bit because it's kind of arcing over and it's too far up but this is something i want to show you guys because a lot of people ask me about typography and they don't get it sometimes so when i move this bevel over like we have to make sure that this is inside of the actual design like it's balanced inside of the design you can see that this is dividing the actual design up in two so this is half of the design and this is half of the design but if i look at it without this it looks as if it's kind of off just a little bit you know like something about it is just kind of leaning more towards the left than it is the right and that's because the kerning of this is not right so what we want to do is double click inside of it hold down alter option and just kind of push the letters out some so they're not all bunched up together so now when i hit back on command colon and i get this you know grid back i can actually balance this in a way that looks good so now that we got that let's just say i want to add some different stuff right here into the middle like on the sides of these you know and then i took like i don't know a rectangle and i just put one here like this you know just no rhyme or rhythm just put one there like that as you can see this side over here is kind of empty because it's not balanced anymore so what i want to do is just take this box right quick hold down alt to option and then we can hold shift down with this and just kind of bring this over to the side like this now this is looking good and i like the way this is turning out but when we go inside to design stuff that's where the real problem comes in because we already got the lock up and everything but when we go inside we want to make sure that the inside is as balanced as the outside is so well, let's start designing that i'm gonna go ahead and lock down every layer and i'm putting up a new layer and this is layer seven and in layer seven i want to go to the polygon tool so where it was the rectangle tool if you click on it and you let that menu open up you can drop down to the polygon tool now the polygon tool allows you to make triangles and stuff like that shapes with corners i want to make a triangle so i'm gonna make sure that i got a three-sided polygon i'm gonna hit okay and i just want to make sure that this rests on top of the line so this is not on the line we're gonna put this here and we're gonna pull this over a little bit so now that i have this what i want to do is just go ahead and hit command c and then command f i want this one to come down here at the bottom so with this one right here i want to bring this one over i want to make like i don't know like it look like a mountain you know so i want this to come over some so what i'm gonna do is a hold down alt to option i'm just gonna bring this one over like this now i don't want it to go too far because it has to be a mountain you know mountains kind of cross over in front of each other but because i want a balanced design i want to make sure that these hit lines so this triangle the tip has to hit like three on the ruler okay you guys got to learn how to use these rulers and i also want it again to happen on the other side a little bit like this and with this i'm gonna take layer three and i'm gonna take layer seven and i'm just gonna shape build the rest of this so and i think this is looking pretty good so i'm gonna lock down layer seven now and i'm gonna bring up a new layer this is gonna be layer eight and i want to give you guys some more of these lessons so i'm just gonna come in and i want to make like an eye so i want to put like an eye down here in the middle of this so we're just gonna make kind of like the same eye from like the last tutorial you know we're just gonna keep this balance moving right we just want to keep making a very balanced design I'm actually going to go ahead and give this one a black stroke and a white inside. And then we can start doing other things like making clouds and stuff like that. So I'm going to take the ellipse tool and just kind of make some clouds. So I think this looks good for clouds. So what I want to do is just take all of this, just kind of hold down shift, select them all, go into the pathfinder and just unite them all, right? The way that I drew this was on one side. Now we have to make sure that we can balance this to get this on the other side. So I'm gonna hold down command C and then I'm gonna hit command F to make that new layer, or whatnot, that new path, the new copy. And I'm gonna go into object, transform and reflect. We want to pull this to the other side and that seems pretty balanced to me so we can just take both of these and increase the stroke some i think it was like 15 right
final tweak you guys that's it so a balanced design is something i hope you guys are going to get into more i hope to see more balanced designs or whatnot stuff that's kind of even on all sides you know i hope you guys actually learn something about that because that's kind of a, another huge kind of little tweak that kind of grinds my gears that people aren't really doing they're just making designs not really balancing it and stuff like that and i'm making sure that it's equal all around or whatnot so hopefully you guys learned that and if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video and if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe i do this all the time as a matter of fact bail me so i know it's real and then in the comment section below tell me like something that you guys kind of struggle with when it comes to actually making t-shirt designs and stuff like that i want to know so i can help you guys get a little bit better in the next t-shirt tuesday but with that being said you guys let's go ahead and get up out of here so stay amazing stay creative but above all else stay awesome